welcome to our digital series, Shining Light, from the First Methodist Church of Temple, Texas. I'm Dr. Diane Howard. Today's episode emphasizes our beautiful campus, which is warm and friendly. We would love to have you come join us here. Hello, I'm Tom Robbins. I'm one of the pastors here. Welcome. We are so glad you're with us today. Out of all the different buildings on our large campus and the different types of architecture, the most significant architecture represented by our church is the sanctuary, which is absolutely breathtaking. And the most remarkable part of our sanctuary has to do with the faceted glass windows. There are two layers. The bottom layer, which is the main floor of the sanctuary, there are 11 windows there and they have to do with the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, the birth, the life, the death, and the resurrection. And the windows are absolutely breathtaking. The balcony windows are remarkably different. They are the apostles, including Judas. Now what's really significant about these windows is all the windows were given by members of the church and what no one seems to understand is that in these windows is actually the instrument by which each of the apostles died, except the window of St. John. We don't know how he passed away. But uh, we have uh, an expert here in the church who actually does tours of these windows, and uh, he's going to be introduced to you in just a moment. Hi, I'm, I'm Buzz Rom. I'm the lay leader here at uh, First Methodist Church in Temple, Texas. My family's been involved with this church for 20 years at different periods of time. Um, and my oldest daughter was married here. And one of the things we truly love about this church are the windows. They are absolutely the most beautiful windows. And um, my favorite window is the one you see to my left. It's the nativity scene. This, you can see Joseph standing there with a staff. And Mary is seated at his feet holding baby Jesus. And you can see the three wise men, Gaspar, Melchior, Balthazar, holding a little, holding a small bag of gold and a little jug of it, frank, frankincense and a package of myrrh. And um, up in the top, of course, is the star that rose in the east to guide the Magi to Bethlehem. Now, these windows are called faceted glass because when they're constructed, pieces of glass are, are approximately an inch thick. And after they're cut, the glazier chips little faces or facets around the edge of the block. And the reason for this is because uh, it lightens the outside of the block and produces an effect called halation, like a halo. And the extra glow diminishes the effect of the blackness um, in the lines in between. When these windows were first put in in the mid-60s, um, they only cost $30,000. And though they were supposed to not need repairs, actually they do, they started leaking. And in the late 80s, they were all taken out, redone. In 2009, um, an appraisal estimated they were worth about $250,000. So this represents an, a, an amazing uh, situation wherein the people in 1960 are supporting us 60 years later. We would truly love it if you would come and join us to share in God's life. Hi, I'm Paul Tipton. Uh, I've been a member of the First United Methodist Church uh, virtually all my life. Uh, was baptized here. Uh, my daughter was married here. My great-grandparents were members here. And my parents were members here. It is a beautiful facility. I'm standing in the Grabowski Family Life Center and then I've added photographs to the, uh, this Family Life Center, basically to cover our community. Uh, iconic structures in the community, that's what we want, is the community in our, in our church. As a photographer, and I've done a lot of nature photography, um, which is trying to express God's works, doing the photographs of this church, this historical church, uh, the detail and majesty and workmanship that went into this church is absolutely phenomenal. Over all these years, we have had some tremendous changes to our church campus. 
In 2006, when I first got here, we were four completely separate blocks. We bought the streets from the city, consolidated all the property, and became the largest landowner in downtown Temple. During this time, we also bought an additional property outside of those four blocks. We ended up tearing down buildings that were not needed, building new buildings like the Krabowski Praise and Worship Center, remodeling the Youth Center, also completely retrofitting Dennis Hall to be our new offices, and expanding our Mother's Day Out program, the space they used. We have had tremendous changes to our church campus. What matters most is not the architecture, not, not the buildings, not the parking lots. It is the family that comes together to worship here. We would love for you to be a part of this. Thank you.